come to Him. It was very hard for me to preach this today because I was wrestling with probably six different things that I thought would be good for this congregation. But I want to end with one of the things I could not touch on. You will hear often that preachers like myself and preachers like Jeff are mean-spirited and proud critical that may be true I will not judge myself for whatever mean spirit or critical spirit one of us may have I would apologize but truth is truth first of all truth bites and it stings and it has a blade on it it does Secondly, how would you expect us to preach if your child was about to walk into the railway of an oncoming train? Would you expect us to be civilized? Would you expect us to whisper a kind word? Or would you expect us to scream like a madman? And if for the name of being civilized, we did not raise our voice so that someone would not think improperly of us, would you not hate us that we cared more about ourselves and our own reputation than we did the welfare of your child? Is it well with your soul? You, church member of 15 years, is it well with your soul, teenager? It is so easy to be Southern Baptist and never saved because it's created its own culture and its own little world where you can be born, go to nursery, go to Sunday school, vacation Bible school, go to youth group, find a mate, everything in the context of that culture and yet never know God. Do you know Him? Do you know Him. Every chance that I get to preach, it will be the same as a dying man preaching to dying men, preaching as though I shall never preach again. And I did bring heart cry here because it was God's will. But the number one thing on my mind was not heart cry are bringing it to Muscle Shoals is that my wife and my two little boys would sit under preaching. That's why I came here. That's why I came here. So that when I'm off gone fought, fighting battles, there'll be a man standing before them preaching something that just could make them mad, but at the same time save their soul. Is this a reality in your life? Is this a reality in your life? Let's pray. Father, I come before You in the name of Your Son and is always the case. Oh God, how can one speak of the things of which we have spoken this morning? And Lord, please work, Lord in people's hearts that if there's someone here today who doesn't know you that this day may at least be the beginning of the work of salvation on this side of heaven begin to work in their hearts Lord begin to work in their hearts and I ask this in Jesus name Amen